Good day, dear students. The weather is fine. How are you? I hope you are fine too. Term 1, Lesson 9 The theme is asking for clarification. Also, we'll a bit speak about nationalities and countries. Lesson objectives of our lesson are perform a dialogue, restate about themselves at sentence level. Before beginning our lesson, let's read a poem about friendship. In spite of our nationality or country, we may be friends. Diversity raised me. As I look at the faces around me, I have friends from different countries, listening to many languages. I am familiar with both Arabic and Malay. Diversity raised us. I have Arab friends wearing bajukurum and salva kameez, and Malay friends wearing Palestinian soap. But food, face, and love is, is what connects us. Diversity raised me to accept my identity. Okay, let's watch a video and uh, learn some phrases about clarification. I will teach you five common ways to ask for clarification. Clarification means to explain more. When you don't fully understand, you ask someone to explain more or give clarification. When you don't understand someone or you can't really hear someone, you need to use these expressions. Let's get started. Okay, students, let's start with the first one. Number one, what? This is the most common expression to ask for clarification but it is very informal and can be considered rude. I suggest you only use this with your friends and family. Number two, excuse me or pardon me. This is the polite way to say what. If you are in a formal situation or talking with a stranger, these are the ones to use. Number three, what do you mean? If you are confused, use this expression. You are telling someone that you don't understand and that they need to explain more to help you understand. Number four, would you mind repeating that? This is a direct way to ask someone to repeat themselves when you don't understand or can't really hear them. Number five, could you explain it again? If you didn't understand someone, this is a polite way to ask someone to explain something more clearly. Okay, let's continue. Here are some phrases or expressions about clar clarification. What do you mean by? Do you mean? Could you say it again, please? Could you repeat, please? Could you clarify that, please? Would you elaborate on that, please? Could you be more explicit? Could you explain what you mean by? Could you give us an example? I wonder if you could say that in a different way. Could you put it differently, please? Could you be more specific, please? Okay, exercise 4, page 9, workbook. We are going to read and complete the dialogue. So... Your first name is Janik, and your surname is Stervinsky. Is that right? Yes, that's right. 
how do you spell that? It is C Z E R Y I N S K I. Okay, thanks. And where are you from? Katowice in Poland. That's K A T O Y I C E. And what's your date of birth? 12th April 2000. Sorry, can you repeat that please? Yes, of course. It's 12th April 2000. Thanks. And what's your address here in Bristol? 24 Walton Street. Okay, okay. read for yourself uh, the dialogue one more time. Now we are going to watch the video and uh, I suggest you to note some facts because after watching the video we are going to do trust to it. Okay, now fill the table, write nationalities of people from the video. Okay, there is a table. Takeshi, what nationality is he? Mm -hmm. Yes, he is Japanese. Fanny, what nationality is she? She is Indonesian. Jihan, what nationality is she? She is Chinese. Lisa and Max, they are Spanish. Elise, she's French. Charlotte, she's German. And whom Takeshi looked for? He is Daniel, yes, he is Mexican. Okay. Oh, Mexican, sorry. You how does is to make a dialogue using this graphic organizer? Here you can see the phrases to make a dialogue. And you should put, should put them in order. To make a dialogue. So I wish you good luck. And after the lesson, you should tick one of these statements. If you can make a dialogue easily, tick here. I can ask and answer the questions, tick here. If you can make a dialogue, but with little support, tick here. OK. Now, the lesson is over. Thank you for your attention. See you soon.